doctors over at Vanderbilt have a new tool to help during cancer surgery. Our Nikki Hauser scrubs in to show us how it's potentially saving lives. Vanderbilt, we know, does head and neck surgeries all the time inside their hospital. But today will be the third time in the United States that they're using a new scanner tool within that OR. We got the scrubs on, ready to go. Let's go check it out. This is how it starts. This is how it starts every time. Yeah, yeah, scrub in. Now we're going to go over here. We're scrubbing into an oral cancer surgery with Dr. Michael Toff. But unlike the thousands of others he's done, this procedure is making history. Today is our third case. The third case in which doctors have introduced this into the EOR, an intraoperative PET CT scanner, which shows the cancer in its entirety. A clinical research coordinator is showing us the scan from the last surgery. Here is where this, the cancer was localized to. Before this clinical trial, which is still very much in its early stages, scans would be sent to pathology after surgery, a process that could take weeks to return data. This technology, it will potentially allow us to know that we removed all of a cancer in real time during the surgical operation in a matter of eight to 10 minutes. <laughs> That's going there, so now you can go here to here. The Vanderbilt Head and Neck Cancer Team successfully performed the country's first surgery with this scanner in September. You know, it's a little bit of a rush. It's also very intense. Intense because the novel approach brings another element of surprise, radioactivity. In surgery, the patient gets a small dose of a radioactive agent, which allows the tumor, once removed, to be visible on the scan. So the radioactivity essentially allows you to see the cancer. Lights it up. Yeah, lights it up like a Christmas tree. Marcus Belinke is the radiation safety officer. His role in this OR, to make sure the team is safe. In fact, each team member wears a special ring for that very reason. Since it's a novel approach, it's a new thing, we're just getting data on the levels. After the tissue comes out, I put it in the cup and I image it. With radioactivity under control. It's, it's really fun, it's really cool too. The scanner becomes a promising new asset, allowing for a thorough assessment of a cancer and its spread and saving time for surgeons and patients alike. These cancers can be really, really challenging even for experienced surgeons. So, you know, as many as 20 to 30% of cases uh, for advanced head and neck cancer cases, we do not get all of the cancer. And a, um, so some, a device like this and a protocol call like this really has the potential to improve patient outcomes. While new, it's a tool that's already making waves. Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5.